Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me and uh, Asen Xiang in here in Paraguay. Um, yeah, I'm on a mountaintop. I'll show you some drone views. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 13 for the Legal Day Challenge. The like button, hit subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Today we have a Yeezy, yes. Uh, and as you may tell, because I told you in the intro, I am here in Paraguay, in Asashon. Uh, Asashon. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah. No penguins for today because we did other stuff, but penguins will be back because... I have so many videos to look for. Uh, yeah, they'll be good. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at today's poem. We have 3606. I almost forgot. I was like, okay, good night, everybody. But uh, yeah, 3606, coupon code validator. You have three arrays of length N, describing N, uh, the properties of N coupons, code, business lines, and is active. The I have coupon has these three things. A coupon is considered valid if, uh, uh, maybe I should, uh, okay, the, the identifier, the category, and whether it's active. Fair enough. Code has some rows, business line has some, has four things, and it's active. It's, oh, oh, this is, if it's valid, if all these holds, so we have to validate on code, validate on this, and that it is true. Uh, we turn it away of all valid coupons and then you have to sort them and then code it in uh, lexicographical order within each uh, category. EGPR is in the right order, right? So we don't have to like do a mapping. Uh, and then lexicographically order of oh, the code. We sort the code. Okay. I mean, of course, I just do it one, uh, you know, I think one thing that you can do and maybe it's not a great habit is that you can try to do everything at once. But... A better habit is just break it down uh, into components that you can think about. Maybe even have a helper function. Don't fully code. Maybe that's a little bit of overkill. Um, just break it down the components that you can do um, individually, right? Sorry if my eyes are kind of weird and I'm like looking like, you know. Uh, I mean, this is an easy problem, so that's good. But uh, yesterday I had two hours of sleep. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't remember. I, no, no, no. I, I talked about it in my ad random code video, but not my lead code video. Uh, so yeah, uh, I took a flight. I guess I slept another hour or so, but it's you know flying hours. Does that really count? Uh, and then I was just out and about all day and doing stuff all day. So my apologies, but uh, okay, let's just uh, yeah, let's just go through it, right? So, um, what do we, uh, we want? I'll put the code, right? Okay, so yeah. So we have for, let's say CBA in zip of code, business line, and it's active, right? So if not A, then we just continue, right? Then it's already not valid. If B not in, uh, I don't know, I guess we we'll just copy paste this actually. Uh, maybe, we, um, eh, it's fine. Maybe we put this in this set so it's slightly faster. Um, it's got business requirement or something, I don't know. Right, uh, and then we just make this into a set. Then we continue, right? Uh, and then what's the other one? Oh, code validating. Right, uh, if this is if not good, C, then we continue, right? Of course, we'll just implement it. Otherwise, now we put in the code. Um, good code or good coupons, maybe. Do, 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 right, and then now we just put in good coupons. We want to put in uh the business line, right? And we also want to put in uh oh, this not a supply is B and A, right? And then now we do another sort later, but let's uh, do this part first. And of course, you can also uh, use the enum here if you want to 
really think about efficiency, but I would consider that a premature optimization, so let's not worry about it for now. So, okay, so code is good if it is non empty and only has these things, right? So, for C and I wonder if there's like a um, a thing, but uh, like without regex, anyway, uh, Python has a lot of weird things, so I'm just thinking, yeah, maybe there's a thing, right? Okay, so if C is alpha or C. Uh, is numeric or c is equal to underscore then we're good right then we continue uh, otherwise we return false and then we return true maybe um something like that maybe i'm off by one uh I don't know. and then now we sort the coupons this sorts it by business first and then the the code second within each category um i think this is always sorted right egpr right so then now all we have to do is just, well, we move the business category and then return it. So then now, uh, yeah, we can just return an array of C, which is for code, for C in, uh, for um, the business category, C in good coupons. And uh, hopefully we're Gucci. This is kind of a lot of writing for easy one and maybe even hard. Uh, okay, so I put in something incorrectly because it just returns true. Uh, oh no, this is not A. Why did I put A? I don't know. Okay, hopefully that's slightly better. Uh, there's an empty string. Why do I have an empty string? Dong dong dong. Oh, em empty string is a valid code. Uh, it's it's non-empty, which that means my good function is poor. So yeah, uh, if length of code is equal to zero, I mean this is literally like spelled out for you, but you know I am not a smart boy, but it. it I got lucky because that would have been an easy wrong answer. Maybe there's still another easy wrong answer uh, because I kind of just, you know, hey, it looks good. Happy about that. Uh, happy that I'm going to go get some sleep. So that's why I have this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.